Houston Station on Space to Ground. Welcome to Space to Ground, your weekly look at what's happening on board the International Space Station. I'm Dan Hewitt. The station got a makeover this week with some robotic rearranging. Flight controllers in Canada and in Mission Control Houston relocated the permanent multi-purpose module, which is used to store extra cargo on the station. It was moved from the Unity node to the Tranquility node to free up a docking port on Unity. This activity was the latest step in preparing the station for the installation of two new docking adapters for use by future U.S. commercial crew vehicles. Astronauts are called on to perform a lot of precise tasks, and one study is making sure microgravity doesn't get in the way. The Fine Motor Skills Study is looking at how spending a long time in space affects an astronaut's ability to interact with experiments, computers, and robotics controls, all tasks that require a crew member to be good with their hands. The tests developed for this study use a tablet computer, and knowing microgravity's impacts will help us develop necessary countermeasures for space travelers. These tests could also be used by patients undergoing rehabilitation down here on Earth. This week, ED asked where the center of mass is on the ISS. Seems simple, but our flight controllers will tell you that's actually a really important question. The space station's center of mass is located right around an area known as the S0 truss, which is a section of the large backbone structure of the complex. The location does move around slightly as vehicles come and go, or with activities like this week's PMM relocation. Tracking the center of mass is absolutely essential for planning and executing activities like attitude control, robotic operations, even spacewalks. Make sure to keep sending your questions and comments using the hashtag space to ground. We'll see you next week.